All right, here's another take, trying to get this right. I've had really crappy luck with lighting and whatnot, so I'm hoping this works out. Um, <clears throat> I'm demonstrating today um, my controller for the rear LED light strip. Um, you'll see in my previous video, I had built a project to make the light strip dynamic and do some uh, kit car Larson scan stuff and bounce stuff with the LEDs. Um, I wanted to take it to the next step by building this controller. So I'm going to get going right at it here. Essentially start this up here, show you what it's like. The Miata logo comes up. I apologize. The quality of the graphics are really crappy. Um, it doesn't render well on my phone, but they're actually quite crisp on the screen. So essentially this allows me to scroll through the different modes uh, that I can engage the LED light strip on. Um, right now it shows the state that the, they're on, meaning they're sort of in parking, running light mode right now. Um, and you can see that in the video that I'll show uh, soon. I can scroll through the different modes um, and I'll just do show you a couple of them. So essentially uh, the kit mode, fire that guy up. Oh, screwed up there, let's try that again. Fire up kit, send it. So that should show now um, in the back. It takes a little bit of time because there's a I've got a bit of a delay between these two communicating uh, the, the master here and the controller in the trunk. Um, uh, so that should be done now. Let's roll through the bounce. That's sent. And that should fire up now and show. I better check my timing because it's taking a little longer to show up here than, than it should. But I think uh, it's just because the comms delay. And then both. Shows both the loops. Let's go back to both. So that should show both the, um, the Larson and the bounce. Oh, got a bit of a glitch here. And then when that's done, we have um, another mode that I'm not going to show, but it's a demo mode. This essentially shows. Um, sorry, let me back up. Before I go to demo, I'm going to show you the, the color mode. This guy here, just add some spice to the look and feel. Probably would only do this in the parking lot somewhere to show it, show it off. I don't think I'd really want to create a distraction like this. <laughs> Somebody running through the back of my car. Um, so that just sequences in a bounce mode a bunch of different colors. Um, and then the demo mode, as I mentioned, it just goes through all of those in sort of a demo mode. So I can just fire it up to show people uh, how they all work together. So it just sequences between them. Uh, I usually just leave it in, um, in both mode here. So to note, as I mentioned in my prior videos, I've got uh, photo uh, resistors, two photo resistors in the back of this watching the two LEDs, one for the seatbelt um, warning um, alert and then one for the airbag alert so they just watch the LED intensity when the LEDs light up they trigger this controller and this display to show the icons and see if I can get a real close up of that icon it's uh, again apologize for the quality it just really quite sucks coming through my phone but they are more crisp on the screen so anyway, that's uh, a demo of the different sequences. Again, the video above should show that. Um, uh, I am not a person to leave well enough alone, so my next step is to um, just sorry, start that again. My next step here is to take this guy, which is a um, LED light channel, a uh, silicone LED light channel, and run that strip inside that guy. You can see the little insert there. If you look closely, you can see that it's actually a, sort of a semi-transparent um, uh, um, part here versus white here. So the, my LED is actually shine downward. So they would actually shine out this bottom piece and I'd mount that in the trunk. The goal is to remove sort of the individual, as they call them, pixels or LEDs showing as separate and have it more of a, a pipe of light that um, is more dynamic and more flowing. So I'm gonna try that in a little bit and I'll post another video of that if I have success. Um, so stay tuned and also as I noted before, I'm going to uh, blog about this build. I've already blogged about the build for the back controller that was originally Arduino Nano. Now they're both um, uh, ESP8266. They talk together, so I'm going to sort of do a phase two posting that talks about uh, both components and update the schematics for both of them uh, and post that uh, if anybody has the, has the heart to um, 
tried to build this. It's, it's actually not that difficult. Electronics wise, it's really not that difficult. There's not a lot of components, but it is, you know, it's a bit of a leap of faith because you're, you're kind of <laughs> chopping the shit out of the, um, uh, the console here with the push button that I've added. And again, the light, sorry for the lighting. It's not too hot right now. Uh, but you're chopping the, uh, that up or cutting that out to put this button in here. And here's not so bad. This all can be removed easily. It's just double-sided tape, the the uh, the overlay and the the OLED, and you know the other. Um, I think it, I call it a light pipe, but it's basically the 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 static display unit uh, that shines the LEDs through. Easily can be put back in there, so it's not a big deal from that perspective. Um, anyway, thank you for watching. I appreciate a like and a subscribe, and uh, by all means, comment and question if you have them. Thanks a lot, everybody. Ciao.